Hiya, welcome back. Right, I'm going to show you something today which really isn't difficult and can save you a few quid. I saw recently advertised some bar weights, um, made me chuckle, 30 quid for a pair of bar weights for a bike. Chrome bar weights and honestly most bar weights on bikes are stainless steel anyway and this particular advertisement made it clear that you could transform the look of your bike and you could have fantastic chrome bar weights, 30 pounds for two bar weights because I think what it plays on is the fact that everybody damages their bar weights at some point or another. I've got this skanky old one I've had in the drawer for ages. It's just an old bar weight. Uh, it's got all kind of glue and stuff and rubbish on it. There's a little scar on it. And you know what happens? You go in the garage, you run it down the wall, you get a little mark in it, it gets scarred up or scuffed. The bike's been dropped, fell off its stand or something. And it's very easy to damage them. And then you look at them and think, I don't know, I could buy some flashy ones. No need, watch. I'm going to show you how to refurbish your own and make them shiny and new for absolutely nothing. It just takes a couple of minutes. All right, stick around, I'll show you how to do it. Right, drill, vice. Take a bolt that fits down the center and makes it a nice clean fit because you want it central in the middle. Okay, now in this instance, I've got a little bit of shoulder showing without any thread there. So before I screw that down, I'm just going to drop a nut and a washer on that and then I'm going to drop the standard nut on and just spin that on so I can lock it up. And the purpose of this is to make a jig, a jig to hold the bar weight because we're going to spin it in the drill. So pop that on there and make sure it's nice and tight. Nice tight fit and it's not going to go anywhere. Right, workshop safety. So that's all in the box in there now in the jig. We've got a couple of little scuffs and scars on the end of it. It might be rusty. Stick it in the end of the drill. Do it up nice and tight. A little bit of common sense. And I'm going to use just some 400 grit paper. But before I do that, bring some gloves on. Now, just before I do that, I'm going to use a file to take out the scar. Now, if you're going to put, if you're going to spin something in a machine, don't use baggy gloves. Baggy old gloves are no good because you'll get caught in the machine and they'll drag your hand into it and damage yourself. Use these tight fitting ones with a good tight rubber face on them and you won't get too much of a problem. If that touches there, it's not going to hurt you too much, all right? So, spin this up and very carefully. Now, this drill, just have a check. A little bit off center there. Right, now this drill spins that way. So, that's it, that way. So we're spinning that way. So I'm going to run the file that way against it. If you've got it spinning the other way, go on the top so that the pushing force is pushing towards the job. You don't want it so that it drags this out of your hand. If you're going that way, you should go on the top. So make sure that when you're going to file against a spinning piece of metal, you push against the force rather than the way because it will take the file out of your hand and embed it in the wall or anybody watching over there. So let's just take the, very, very gently, take these scars out first. Very, very light pressure, very light pressure. And just check round to make sure you've got all the little nicks out. It's a little bit there. Right, you can see the action is to follow the contours. You don't want to reprofile it, you just want to follow the contours themselves. Now we've got little scars or lines in that, although they're nice and circular. They're still not very attractive, so we've got to take the file marks out now with the 400 paper. So we move down to this. Okay, so now we've got a lovely engineered finish on that stainless. Absolutely smooth, no damage at all. Show you close up. You can see on there, that's absolutely lovely now. And there's one more little thing you can do just to give yourself that final fantastic finish that people will be quite impressed with. 
And this is it, and it's a little bit dangerous now. This isn't so unfraught with danger. You've got a cloth, cloths can get dragged into machines, so be very careful. All I'm gonna use is a little bit of Autosol metal polish. All right, so if you need to find that, we all know what Autosol is. And just a little dab on there. And the trick is here, keep that cloth as tight as you can, like a pad, like that. Don't let any of the cloth get caught up and wound around it. Good as new. Not difficult, eh? And absolutely immaculate. Probably better than it was the standard. Right, there you go, folks. It really is as easy as that. It took just a few minutes, cost no money whatsoever. For a long time, I sold bikes for a living, and one of the things I used to look for when I was buying bikes from Joe's who walked in off the street was bar end weights that were undamaged and were the factory originals. That was a good indicator they hadn't fallen on the side, unless you know this tip. So if you're selling your bike, you're not hiding anything. It's just that people, when they're buying a bike, will take a view that if it's got damage because it's fallen over, they'll take a lesser view of it. It doesn't mean it's any lesser bike. It's exactly the same bike. It just fell over in the driveway or it rubbed against the wall in the garage. I see these excuses written on sale descriptions all the time. Don't make excuses. Refurbish it. If you go and replace it with an aftermarket one, you're giving it away just as much. They are your aftermarket bar weights. What happened to the originals? Well, nothing. Look, they're absolutely mint. It's a little trick doesn't mean you're trying to hide anything, it just means that your bar weights, the factory originals, are absolutely mint and as they should be. And it's your bike, why not have it great? Why not have it absolutely immaculate and looking good for you? There it is. Cost nothing, took a minute. Take it easy, ride safe. See you next time.